feel like I'm surrounded by social media royalty and just talent in general. Um, what I loved about this film is, Sabrina, your character basically grabs Liza, doesn't give her much time to say no, and sticks her in a situation that could go either way. So I'll start with you. When was the last time a friend put you in a situation where you didn't have a chance to say no and you ended up having to just go along and ride the wave? Oh, wow. That's a great question. Um, I feel like I'm more the person that does that for other people. Uh, not necessarily, I, I try not to put people in situations that could be detrimental to the rest of their lives. It's something <laughs> I try to do on a daily. Um, but there's definitely times where like, I, I will be the person that like, I did this to my friend Joey a couple weeks ago. I really wanted donuts. And this place that I like to get donuts at is like a 40 minute drive. I was like, we need to go get donuts. And she didn't know it was gonna be a 40 minute drive. And she was like, why are we still driving? They're just, I was like, you don't get it. You'll get it when we get there. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think that was detrimental. If anything, that ended up being, uh, that ended up going the right way. All right, yeah. I have to know what, what donuts were these donuts? Were they Dunkin' Donuts or? No, no, no. It's a very small little, uh, small owned business shop, like, Aww. like in deep in deep in the valley. Um, and uh, uh, and yeah, they're they're great. And they like open at like six p.m. and then they go all night. But it's like an outdoor little stand. They're really good. Yeah. All right, I'm putting that on my list of places to go. Liza, how about you? What was the last time you got dragged into something and you didn't have, didn't even have a chance to say no? Uh, it was literally Sabrina, um, very <laughs> well experienced in the driving experience. I think it's because she just got her driver's permit, which is very similar to her character in the movie. She's method. Um, but she did trick me uh, into, ask me, trick me, same thing for her, uh, into taking, giving her a ride home. And mm -hmm. she lives out much farther than uh, I anticipated. And mm -hmm. now I know where she lives. So anytime I want to pull her into a situation, <laughs> I know where to go get her. Yeah. I, I see a theme here in, in terms of uh, Sabrina <laughs> friends and favors involving cars. Uh, in the movie, your character has kind of a, well, I guess it's really your mom that tries to get you in the zone with uh, Get On Your Feet. What song gets you in the zone every time? Um, I'd have to say Let Me Move You by Miss Sabrina Carpenter, which is also in the movie. It's a brand new song, just released, um, and it is basically the anthem of Work It. So I'm excited people to get moving to it because I have been, and it is a very, uh, it's a good experience once you play it. Um, I was going to say Formation by Beyonce. Like, I would love to give myself some <laughs> promo, but Liza does it for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Formation, anything by Beyonce, I think Liza and I can both agree is a, is yeah. a very much, it just makes you focus. You don't even have to think about it. You're yeah. in the zone. It's the confidence. Yeah. It's the confidence yeah. he exudes that rubs off on everybody else too. So Beyonce all the way. Well, you just led me to my next question. You know, in the film, you kind of invoke the spirit of Beyonce. You basically pray to Try. Queen Bay. Um, who is that person, Sabrina? Who do, you, who do you like to invoke the spirit of? Who motivates you in that way where you kind of, you know, I don't want to use the word pray to them, but you know what I'm saying. Beyonce. Yeah, I mean, we, I, I don't know how much more method we can get in this <laughs> scenario, but I think the reason why that like that uh, little little prayer that she does like was was very it was very realistic. Um, that's some someone that I look up to in a lot of ways. She's a, she's an incredibly hard working, talented, uh, talented isn't even like the word to describe Beyonce. She's like more than that. But um, but yeah, I mean, there, there's so many people I feel that way about Rihanna. Also, like I'm a huge, huge Rihanna fan. I feel like people definitely pray to like Meryl um, Streep. You know, I'm trying to think of like all these like icons. I mean, there's, there's so, so many. Uh, I mean, we've grown up seeing them and like, JT and like uh, Brittany, okay. you know, like I grew up with all those in the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot of great icons. Um, I think um, the, the cameras were just rolling and Sabrina was getting ready to film a scene and she was praying to Beyonce and they happened to capture that part and put it in the movie. But I same for me, I'm from Houston, Texas, born and raised. So off-brand Beyonce is who I call myself. <laughs> um, I am looking towards having her thighs one day. Uh, <laughs> they're not in this movie, stay tuned for the next one, we'll see. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I think it just embracing that, that confidence is what you try to do before every scene. I'd like her ass just between you and me. So I'm going to go, I'm going to yes, work on that. <laughs> she likes it too. I like it too. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks so much. Uh, you know, Liza, I went to Plano Senior High and you know how big drill team is in Texas. There were 64 girls that tried out, 60 made it. I was one of the four who did not. No. So, so this oh, movie inspired me. Aww.